Welcome back to the channel, Hobby One Kenobi here. At the end of this video, I will show you the final look of the model, so stay tuned. Once the vehicle painting is complete, it's time to add weathering effects. I begin by blending colors to create variations of the camouflage colors. I also use pans and grays to emulate dirt and dust effects. My favorite way to apply these effects is using the splatter technique. Heavily thinned artist oils are loaded onto a thin brush and the bristles are pressed against a toothpick. The paint is then flicked onto the surface. Once on the surface, the paint will typically create many little circles. I will then bring a soft brush, lightly moistened with the smallest amount of thinner, to remove some of the material and soften the edges of the circles. If I wish to have a true splattered effect, I will then leave the circle shapes present. With this technique, I really am trying to add subtle variations in the paint scheme colors. This kind of work on a model is very relaxing for me and adds a nice layer of realism. Next, I developed a technique that I like to use on armored trucks. Rather than dry brushing highlights, I like to dry brush black artist oils and lightly scuff the raised areas of the vehicle. This gives the look of grime buildup, or it can also give the impression of light chipping. On some areas of the truck, I decided to spend more time building up and blending an assortment of colors.
here is the finished M54A2. The kit was a lot of fun and I am pleased with how it turned out. I definitely recommend picking one up for yourself. Well that does it for this video and this model. In the next week's video I will continue work on an older aircraft model, then return to yet another armor kit. Thank you so much for watching. Please give a like and subscribe if you have not already. Bye.